Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on moisturizers for the fall. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before I get into my video, let's get a little housekeeping out of the way. If my light fluctuates during this video, that's because I have a skylight plus a window right behind me. Um, so just forgive me. I'm just kind of doing the best I can with the lighting. Also, if you're not following me on IG, check me out over there. Over there, I do content that I don't necessarily post on YouTube and I would love to see you over there. All right, so now that I have all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. I do have quite a few moisturizers in front of me. I do want to say make sure that before you start any type of new skincare routine or you start with any new skincare products, make sure you do a patch test. That's just to make sure you are not allergic to anything uh, new. You always want to keep a close eye on any new products that you start to make sure they aren't um, affecting you or impacting you in a negative way. And even if you don't decide to get anything that I talk about, whenever you're trying to pick moisturizers for the fall or the winter, you always want to look for ingredients that have hyaluronic acid in it, that have ceramides, that have botanical non-communogenic oils. Oils are really good. You just want to make sure they're not going to be the kind that clog your pores. So those are the types of ingredients that you want to look for. Um, and also look for skincare products that are targeted for dry skin and that's going to provide hydration. Nowadays, a lot of uh, skincare products that are on the market, they're multifaceted, meaning they target so many different areas. Then, you know, there's hard to find just one that focuses on just one thing because um, I feel as though a lot of companies are adding all of these types of ingredients uh, just to address a lot of different concerns that a lot of people have out there. But anyway, Anyway, I said all that to say those are some things that you really want to look for when you're looking for a moisturizer for the fall or for dry skin. Another thing that I want to add before I get into talking about the moisturizers is that it's good to also add a occlusive uh, to your skincare regimen and that when you think of that you're just thinking of a product that is going to lock everything in that you've just applied on your face and typically you know when you think or immediately when I think occlusives I think of some type of oils so just remember there are some um, pore clogging oils as well as non-comedogenic oils which are the type of oils that are not going to clog your pores which would be argan oil jojoba oil hemp seed oil you know the list goes on and on um, but just be careful that you avoid the type of oils that are going to clog your skin because my nightly routine involves you know i'll do all of my skincare and then i put on my occlusive you know some type of product that is going to seal in uh, the moisture the hydration everything that I've just added okay <laughs> so now let's get into the first one all right so the first one that I want to get into is this honey drop moisturizer by pharmacy this one is considered a very lightweight moisturizer it does have a lot of good ingredients in it it's got ingredients like hyaluronic acid it has kapuasu butter beads in it and that's just considered like a super antioxidant that's going to really do a good job of protecting your skin barrier and providing you with a lot of hydration. This particular moisturizer helps with um, a lot of things. I would consider this one to be a multifaceted one in that it helps with firmness, dullness. It helps with uneven skin tone and texture as well as dryness. If you are going to use it in the daytime, especially if you wear makeup, I would encourage you to like get a sample like from Sephora and you know wear it under your makeup to see how it will last. I've never had any problems with this particular moisturizer under makeup but I do notice that some moisturizers cannot play well with certain foundations and powders and things like that but overall I think this one is a really good one and I really do like the fact that it's lightweight while still providing you with lots of moisture and hydration so the next one that I want to talk about is by Biosance and this is the Squalene Plus Omega Repair Cream this is another one that offers a lot of benefits and anytime that you see 
fatigue, squalling, you know that that's something that's going to help you with hydration and moisture. And that's something that you would really want to gravitate towards. This one is lightweight. It's considered a gel moisturizer. Another thing that I like about this one is that it has a probiotic in it. And anytime that you see probiotics, that's going to just provide um, good bacteria on your face. And you know, the more good bacteria that you have, uh, that's going to help you with any type of acne. So that's just something to keep in mind. And also while we're talking about that, if anytime that you see probiotic um, along with the prebiotic, the probiotic is what feeds the probi the prebiotic is what feeds the probiotic. So you can just uh, think of the pre as the food type of, um, you know, for the pro, for the bacteria, for the good bacteria that's out there. So anyway, I digress. This one is super hydrating for the skin. I always like to use this one at night, um, mainly because of, you know, uh, of how it feels to me, even though it is a gel moisturizer, I, I don't want to call it thick. Um, I just call this one, this one is very, very hydrating. Okay. And it is going to take some time for it to absorb into the skin. So I just kind of like to save this one for last. Um, anytime that I do use this moisturizer at night, anytime I wake up, my skin does feel softer, more supple, um, but it's super uh, good for hydration and it would be an excellent um, moisturizer to use for the fall. All right. So the next one that I have is by L and this is their super hydrate moisturizer this one is a gel moisturizer it's super light I've always found that this one plays really well with uh, makeup it is very very fast absorbing that's another reason why I say it would be good for the daytime and this one's got a lot of good ingredients in it as well including squalene niacinamide vitamin E you know the list goes on and on and it's super affordable that's another reason why I like it so well and you know overall elf just has some really good products. I really do like this one. All right, so the next one that I have is by Clinique and this is their hydrating jelly. Now this one, um, I also have the cartridge in it that is for um, an even skin tone. Um, you can get it without the cartridge. You can just buy the jelly or you can buy the separate cartridges in it. But right now we're just talking about the jelly that you can buy separately. Clinique has a spot near to my heart. I grew up on Clinique. That's what my parents bought me for my skincare coming up. And it's always worked magnificently. This one is a super nice, very hydrating jelly. It's going to provide a lot of hydration. Um, it claims up to 24 hours, but I haven't just like worn it for 24 hours, you know, because within those 24 for hours I do my nighttime skincare routine but this one is so divine I love it I also like the fact that it's made without a lot of trash you know no parabens no phthalates you know none of the trash and it just leaves your skin with a really nice beautiful glow if you haven't tried the jelly the clear the clear one you definitely got to try it in fact um, I'm not sure if Sephora gives samples of just the jelly but you have to try it this is excellent for a super Super, super dry parched skin. All right, so the next moisturizer that I think would be good for fall is this Mario Badescu Collagen Moisturizer. This one is good because it's got collagen in it. We know that collagen is a really good ingredient to have. It's also got cottonseed oil in it as well as vitamin E and it's also got a broad spectrum. So it's covering your bases in a lot of areas. The fact that it has a broad spectrum in it is really good, but you really need something that's also going to be fast absorbing. So historically, I have been known to wear this one at night. So it just depends. If you're gonna wear this moisturizer and let's say you just have to run around town and you're not gonna put on any makeup or anything like that, I think this one would be perfect. But if you are going to use this one and you are going to put on your makeup and you need for whatever your skincare is gonna to do to just go ahead and do it, meaning absorb into the skin, um, this one might not be the one. Now, is that to say that it's not a good moisturizer for the fall? Um, no, I would just recommend this for the ladies that don't wear makeup. You know, if you don't wear makeup, then yes, but there are other, there are so many more that I'm talking about that would be good if you're wearing makeup. 
So anyway, the fact that it has collagen, vitamin E, and cottonseed oil are phenomenal. And I really love that about this one. And it's super hydrating. All right, so I have a luxury skincare item and this is by Eve Lom and this is their moisture cream. Now, I talk a lot about fast absorbing and all of that. This one is very fast absorbing. So if you are one that wears makeup or in the morning time, you need something that's going to absorb really fast in the skin, um, this would be one that's going to do it for you. This one has a lot of anti-aging properties in it. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. So, um, and they call it a next generation of hyaluronic acid. I haven't quite been able to really understand what that is exactly, but I know that it is very hydrating for the skin. Um, it just offers a bit more or a step up. Typically when companies add that next generation or new technology, it's typically they're adding other types of ingredients to help boost or help um, the main ingredient do it, what it has to do. So either way, it's super hydrating, very nourishing to the skin, and it has a lot of antioxidants. And you know, any type of skincare product, I've said over and over and over and over, you, you need, you want, you need and you want <laughs> antioxidants in it because antioxidants are going to fight off free radicals. You can just think of uh, antioxidants um, as little guards at the police, at the banks that are gonna fight off anybody who wants to rob the bank, you know, is that a good analogy? Anyway, they're gonna fight off anything that wants to do harm to your skin. Again, what is that like? Uh, the, 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 the rays from the sun, it could be smoke, um, it could be um, um, pollutants in the air, any, just about anything uh, has a free radical in it. You know, even a lot of the foods that we eat have free radicals. But either way, I digress. This one is very, very nice. It is very pricey. So if you're one that likes the luxury skincare items, this one is definitely for you. So that's it. Those are all of the moisturizers that I would recommend for fall. Let me know down in the comments, what are some of the moisturizers that you like to use during the fall? I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.